Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to tonight's stream. Been away from streaming for a week. Well, actually, I, I guess I didn't because I did that quick stream of um that Smash Brothers tournament at VidCon that I got absolutely <laughs> fucking wrecked at. I mean, I did get one win, but it was against um against the kid who was literally learning the game as we were playing. Like, he's asking how to jump and shit, but I, I beat... I beat the kid who didn't know how to jump, so it wasn't such a bad showing, I guess. But anyway, I figured tonight, you know, back uh, back home to do some streaming. Let me pull the chat up here so I can actually see who's in the chat. I figured uh, this is kind of, I guess, become like the staple game of my streams, Dead by Daylight. Because, you know, it's nice and repetitive, and we can talk. And, uh, you know, I'll have some bad ones, some good ones. What's going on, Professor Sad? My first stream, hey, didn't know I streamed, yeah. Um, I realized, actually, I was talking to Eckhart's Ladder about that. I'm sure some of you guys know Eckhart's Ladder. Um, he does, like, a lot of Star Wars content, but we were talking about Twitch, and he was telling me how, like, he gets a lot of people who come over to his streams because he mentions it in his videos, and I'm like, well, I've mentioned it, like, in passing on, like, my community posts, things like that, but I've never actually called out the fact that I stream in a video, so uh, I guess the start of Angel Fire Adventures is the time to do that. And I'm actually, I'm really happy with the reception of that series. Thanks for the sub, Luca Cola. Um, I didn't know what to expect when I did the Angel Fire Adventures series, because, you know, it's it's similar to Tales from Unity, but it's very different, you know, any kind of narrative that emerges. It's, um... It's... It's totally accidental. It, I, luckily, I did have some things come out as during the course of the stream, like, you know, um, Elizabeth Berkeley's name. And the next episode, which I should have uploaded next week, I had some stuff about Urkel and things like that. Emergent narratives. That's the, that's the phrase for it, Jesus. That's what I have with Angel Fire Adventures. Emergent narratives. But yeah, I didn't know what to expect. It literally performed exactly the same as I would expect the Tales from the Internet video to perform. So that's good. Let me pull up my game here. I'm hoping the quality of the stream actually... I realized... So basically, for those of you who don't know... Thanks for the sub, uh, Call Me Sov. Um, so I play this game... I have the PC version of this now, but I play this on PS4 when I stream because the PC version, I just got an ultra-wide monitor, and even if I play it windowed, it wants it to be in the ultra-wide resolution, so I lose all of this real estate that I got mo a lot, in large part, due to be able to stream more smoothly. I, just turned, I thought I had turned this off. Um, and yeah, also, I don't usually play the Huntress, but... Today we have uh, a Huntress daily challenge. Throw a hatchet. Hit four survivors with a hatchet. Do I have a stream schedule? I don't. It's just uh, whenever it fits into my schedule, I'll usually announce it a little bit beforehand. How did I like Anaheim? Anaheim was fucking awesome. I had so much fun out at VidCon, you know, seeing all these people that I usually... Uh, you know, you talk to them all the time, but you never see them in person. Thanks for the sub, Brain Dead Bob. What was actually um, surprising to me, I was because you know you see people online and they're different from how they are in person. Usually, that's just been my experience in general in life. But seeing the other YouTubers in person, ever I can't think of a single person who didn't come across in real life the way they do in their videos, which was really surprising to me. Oh yeah, that Billy Dale. Wait, what's happening here now? Oh god, I'm. Mean, maybe it's because I like I left this idol for so long. Am I going to TwitchCon? Um, I don't think I am. Uh, because I don't know. I I know some people who will be there, but I feel like I'm. It won't be as fun for me because I'm not involved as involved in the Twitch community as I am in YouTube. Uh, 
Um, I am talking about some fr- to talking to some friends about going to Insomnia sixty six next year. Someone had brought up London VidCon. Who did I actually? I think Rusty Cage has a video coming out tomorrow. Uh, it kind of what basically what happened there is one Airbnb that was kind of Rusty Cage's pad. Uh, it was like I think it was a like Rusty Cage building the fridge reactor and Emperor Lemon together. So that kind of became like the house party home base of VidCon. And one night, uh, the night Dick Masterson was there, we had a hot dog eating contest. I don't remember how that got started, uh, but uh, I think Rusty's having the video of that come out tomorrow. Yeah, I know, Rusty's actually putting out content? Holy shit. <laughs> actually, the first night of VidCon. Alright, so my Airbnb, it was me, Wavy Websurf, Willie Mac Show, uh, BG Combi, Andrew the Apostle, and uh, Wavy's friend Slim, we had a pad together. Oh, and Izzy No Bray. The first night, it starts off on um, the right opinion, and some people come over, and we're chilling. Um, but then little by little, we start inviting more and more people, and it turns into a full blown house party. The next day, Wavy gets an email from the Airbnb people that are like, "Yeah, we're giving you a four hundred fifty dollar fine from." Uh, you know, having so many people over capacity, and they sent us a graph of the noise complaint. Actually, actually I gotta hit Wavy up for the security videos, because they had one of those doorbell um, security cameras, that during the party, there's this one dope clip of, it's uh, it's me, BG Combi, and Andrew. We show up, each of, all three of us, with a case of beer on our shoulders, and like, coming out the door. It's like, it's such a fucking memeable clip. It's just like, yo, these three guys show up to your to your house with three cases of beer. What do you do? Like, he was hesitant to uh, upload the clips because he didn't want to piss them off. But, I mean, the, pine, the fine is already paid. So, what, what, what more can happen? And... Oh yeah, by the way, this is, I realized I've been doing my PlayStation streams in, uh, 720p. So now we're, now we're in 1080. Hopefully it's a little bit better. Also, I gotta get used to, like, looking again in this. I don't know where they went, but... Oh, I see them over there. Oh, you, you scum bitch. Ah. Yo, why does she sound like a fucking turkey when she, like, does attacks? Yeah, I mean, my camera is always in, uh, maximum resolution, but now the actual gameplay is in 1080p. <laughs> Gotta get used to aiming that hatchet on this. Yeah, it's good. Um, most of the time I was playing this game, I only really ever played as the killer. I mean, it played as a survivor. So, making the move to killer gives you a lot of insight as to what's actually going on when you play the game. Because you don't, you don't realize what they're seeing. Well... Bad move. I gotta find a locker. Ah, damn. Did I get in there? 
Oh, breaking the pallet with your bare feet, you're gonna get splinters. Field's gonna fuck me up. There we go, maybe not. She's a fucking hero baby. That's why she don't wear shoes. I mean, the hillbilly's the hillbilly, but she's also a, a type of hillbilly. No, don't finish that. Ah, oh, damn, I should've just grabbed her, I figured... Out of hatchets. Damn. Close, but not... Close enough, huh? That was weird. It was like her belly went into the the slash. I feel like I missed her, but I didn't miss her, so. What did suck about being in Anaheim? Like you I'm used to shit just everything being close to each other. In New York, but like Anaheim, like you got to take an Uber like well, if you're not driving, at least. Like, you gotta take an Uber everywhere. Which can run into a lot of money. There we go. Get some hatchets. Did I check out the restaurants by VidCon? Uh, we wound up going to a lot of breakfast places. Not so much restaurants over there. Um... There was this one place, the Brownstone, that had like really like dope like eggs and shit. Then there was this other one we had lunch. I forgot what it was called. But uh Alright, I see you. Gotta get those hatchet throws. Like that, just like that. Well, oh, did that not? Oh, that's gonna be the end of you. Yeah, I've got a sacrifice. I don't know. I maybe she just gave up. I think she was trying to be uh, fancy and didn't work out how she'd hope. How often do I stream this game? Um, I, w I guess like this has become kind of like a staple game of the stream, where you just like do some killer stuff. But then in most of my streams, it's e it's either this, a uh, collection of indie games, or um. Oh yeah, let's. You're close, but let's just. But I, I stream this a decent amount, uh, a lot of indie game streams, and the other streams will be uh, the Angel Fire Adventures thing. Which I should have another one in a couple days. I have a few ideas to run for that. We have... Alright, so these are the uh, generators we have left. Yeah, I think they just had a sale on Steam for the PC version. I don't know if it's still running or not. You are everything that's gone wrong in this world. Thanks to the sub zodiac. Woof. Ah, oh, I ran out. Damn, she's gonna get away. The adventure streams. I would honestly, I would like to do them once a week, or maybe once every other week, depending. So far of all the streams I've ever done, that one did the best. 
So it makes sense for me to like me do that the most, I guess. Alright, let me get back to the generator. What of retro gaming dev? Uh, the adventure stream is uh, Angel Fire Adventures. It's the one that I, I put it on my channel today with the Save by the Bell stuff. Just kind of looking through old Angel, Angel Fire websites and things like that. I'm thinking they're going to be making their way back to that over there. Oh no, they're working on that one, huh? What a people person. Is there another one I missed? What are they doing here? Thanks, people, for so glad you liked the videos. I was saying before, I'm surprised that Angel Fire Adventures. Oh, I see you lurking. There's two. I'm surprised that as well as it is, just it's it's a different series and it's not as uh not as heavily researched, information based as uh the main stuff. I miss you. Ah, oh, I knew that was gonna happen. That's a, that's a good move, for um. That's a good move for like pallet shit when they're trying to like lure you into the pallet. I never finished Four Survivor, no. Gresco Kit stumbled on my channel a few weeks. Found my Twitch from the Angel Fire video, hell yeah. Yeah, I was saying before, I guess I, I, I should have been doing this all along. And I never thought to actually shout my Twitch out in a video. Which is, I guess it's something I should do. Especially, it makes sense in the Angel Fire Adventure series because, you know, you get to get to see all the stuff early. Who's my favorite character to play? Um... It might be Michael Myers. Because I like... Like, first off, I like that the game makes you play the way that, uh... He actually is in the game. Next to the host, Beer Man. Um, and then you can, like, you charge him up to the one hit of damage. And I have a tendency of losing people after I hit them the first time. So, if you get that done with Michael Myers, it kind of it takes away, it, it mitigates that a little bit. And then I've had a few games where, you know, you're fully charged with Michael and they cluster together. And you just you can just take out a whole fucking team all at once if you get lucky like that. Yeah, I was worried about the community posts because I didn't know if people would keep on seeing those and they'd be like, "Yo, fuck all this like Twitch spam and shit." But it seems like people are uh, more or less all right with it. Like at first, people were kind of like annoyed by it, but they got over it, I guess. Alright, so I guess they all went to the other one, huh? Alright, well... I don't think I'm gonna kill... I'm, I don't think I'm gonna another, get another sacrifice. But... I can at least get my daily challenge here. Damn. Alright, last one. 
Maybe not. Guess I'll do it again. Do I have a character I hate playing? I'm honestly, I'm not a fan of the hillbilly. Oh, I hear the, uh... Oh, okay. I thought he'd be waiting there, whoever's left. Oh, oh, did you, like... What were you doing? Brutal Kira. Thanks, Manix Jinx. Oh, I did get four. Okay. Honestly, I didn't hate the uh, Huntress. Wasn't that bad. Alright. Now I have, uh... Alright, I could do healing with Spire, but I don't feel like playing Survivor. Um... And I still gotta get that hillbilly shit. Let me see if I can get Amori with him so I can try. It's, it's hard. I just, like, I can't get a handle on playing well with the hillbilly. Yeah, the billy playout is huge. I just... It's fucking hard. Nightmare Fetty. I keep on looking for Nightmare Fetties to pop up on eBay, too. Where, if you don't know what that is, it's a bootleg Freddy. It's like a famous bootleg of Freddy Krueger, basically. Not just some ordinary bootleg. Damn, they really don't want to give me Mori's, huh? Fuck it, boyry. Do I want to do a hag? Let me do a Michael. Do a Michael play. Do I want that one or do I want the... Yeah, it's about the same. Alright, so... Do this one. Yeah, Robert Cop is another classic. Oh yeah, I got, uh, today I'm drinking my coffee out of this luxurious cracking glass. Uh, what's happening tonight? I keep getting disconnected. But yeah, it's like, it's a, it's a, it's supposed to be like a, I got, they called it a tiki glass. I'm drinking coffee out of it, I'm not drinking like some kind of like fanciful drink. Um. The first mission I had with Kraken, it's coming to the end. The second one starts next week. I have the link down there if you want to sign up for it. Second one's going to be pretty interesting because it's like, it's all internet based. Actually, like the way you do it, it's going to like, it's not going to be that different from an Angel Fire Adventures episode that you're more involved in, which I think is going to be cool. It's funny, something I realized, like, from, um, from doing this, like, I legal, like, huh? Who would I say is the greatest guitarist? Damn, that's a, that's a tough one, because, you know, how do you measure what is a great guitarist? It's like, who can write the best? I'm not drinking crack around, I'm drinking coffee right now, because, you know, that's what you drink at 12 a.m. 
the Minecraft stream. Actually, what I realized, I like, I need to get a new hard drive. Because my shit's all full up, filled up. I don't know that I have room for Minecraft. I've been saying I need to do a Minecraft stream because I've never played Minecraft before. I'm actually, I'm also really curious about that Area 51 game that Keemstar is making. Like, that team he has, like, they threw that game together so fucking fast. I think he posted some clips to, uh, he did, he posted some clips to Twitter of it. And it seems like the goal of the game is to go to Area 51 and free the aliens. Which, if you have a shit ton of people playing that, it's, uh, I'm not sure what he's going for with that, but it seems like it's like a cooperative, uh, Battle royal game. Which I don't think I've seen before. The short clip that he posted. Do you remember that game, um, State of Emergency? That was the vibe that I got on him. Adept on all survivors. I don't know what that means. I, I'm assuming that means that they're really good and I'm going to get my ass beat this game. What up, shark smelling cat? Wrong in this world. Thanks for the sub maxed out. Am I going to continue video game mysteries? Yeah. Yeah, I have a few more in mind. Um, what's my opinion on Dio? You mean do you mean the musician or the character? But more familiar with the musician, who I think is good. Oh, adept means they're only using their special perks. Got it. Intra, intra das thing. I still haven't watched JoJo either, as I said I was going to do. In that promo I did. Well, I mean, I was away. I didn't have time to watch it the past week. Come on, I'm just trying to look at you a little bit. Let me look at you. Oh, oh I can stab you too. It's allowed. Is that, that one's my obsession, I think, though. So now I'm going to lose my tokens if I keep stabbing her. What I mean. Oh, he can't even, like, at level one, he can't even, like, dash, really, I see. But if I can get her up first, I'm probably better off for it. Oh, it's not going fast enough. Alright, so... Oh, wait, but if she, if she dies, then I can't do anything else. Or rather, I can't get any more tokens. But if she dies, she dies. So I might as well... It's... The, it's oh, damn, they're doing these fast, huh? Bet they're working on that far one over here. No? Oh, someone came for her. Ah, oh, fuck. Well, if I get her, then... Lose my tokens, but uh, get it down on that flow.
Oh yeah, I hear that being worked on. Not allowed. Chopping, chopping. Am I going to the Area 51 raid? I, gu I guarantee the people who show up to the Area 51 raid, it's gonna be like two like wiener ass dudes. Um, and like a fucking Guy Fox masks. 100%. Like, have you ever seen, uh... Yeah, I think that's what I want to do here. Yeah, it's gonna be the most awkward shit. Oh. I thought they were trying to pull some fuck shit like that. There we go, that's what I'm trying to do. Damn, they're just gonna like be too fast to me over here, huh? Damn. I'm wasting it. I feel like I'm wasting it over here on this one. Yeah, they're working over there. I'm just gonna get over there. Yep. That's why I like Michael Myers. You know, it's, it only really got that one out of it, but... Oh damn, that was the obsession. Oh, Alright, whatever. What a Larry the Harry Cherry. Oh, there's the fucking hatch right. Oh, did I see you creeping back there? Or is that just the piston that, like, moved in a certain way? Oh, I see you. 
should have known. Yeah, they're definitely going to come out the other way. What if not sticky soap? Yeah. Oh, they're not even like sticking around for to get uh, touched like that. I don't remember where that hatch was either. Thanks to the bits, ghost. Da oh, this is gonna be like that, huh? No, 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 no. This is what you get for being a uh, bunch of silly geese. This isn't the time to be silly. Not allowed. Thanks to the bits, Gresco. Oh, thanks to the bits, Sora. I missed that one. Now wait, if I can find that hatch and kick it down, it'll be a little bit of extra. As much as I would like to stay here and, uh, you know, attend to business. It was by that one of those hooks. I think it's on the other side, though. Would Jink ever play in Bidford, Maine? Yeah. See, honestly, I played like shit that round. They just got cocky at the end. Does Jinx plan on doing a US tour at all? Um, there was potential for us to tour, actually with a SoundCloud rapper, uh, the end of the month, but that whole shit fell through. Uh, a full US, there's really no point in doing it anymore, unless you get put on a much bigger tour. Because people, like, just, they don't go out to, like, regular shows anymore. Unless, you know, it's, it's either a really strong local show, or if it's a big, big tour. Like, mid-level touring bands. Like, they, I, I could get as much out of, like, throw, like, taking my money and just burning it. And not posting all fucking week. Because you literally get less exposure doing a tour than you do putting out a fucking good content. Thanks to Bit Solar Silence. Oh, I should have got that shit. Why would I do a power metal cover of the Pokemon theme when Power Glove already did it? What up, Mr. Spoopy Skeletal? You know what, I guess since I'm getting so many fucking items on him now trying to get a Mori so I can do that Jaylee challenge, 
I might as well play as him a little bit more and try to be less terrible as him. I have one more perk slot. Oh, I already have Sloppy, sloppy Butcher. Lightborn. Third Seal. See, here's the thing with trying to, uh... I've definitely spent more blood points trying to get him to the point where I can get his daily challenge than I would get from the daily challenge at this point. A deer stalker. Distressing. Enduring. That might be something for me. Do I like Ghostface as a killer? No, and from what I saw in that update, it looks like they nerfed him a little. So now I, I definitely uh, I'm going to like him even less. What's SoundCloud rapper? I don't know if I can say. I mean, technically I can say because I didn't sign shit. Uh, what's yo? What's happening tonight? Oh, the pillows they're shipping out in August. Um, it said, uh, I see. I was worried that people like weren't gonna like are gonna we're gonna be like, hey, where are the pillows? When it said August in the uh, on the thing, should have made it made it even bigger for people to see. I mean, so I've never had this issue where ever where I'm getting disconnected between every game. This is this is some brand new shit. The message about the subway commercial. I did get that. Yeah. Yeah, VidCon was fun. It was, um, it was cool to see. I, I it's cool to see people that I talk to all the time online. In real life. Yeah, I did miss the NY Blackout. It seems like every time I leave New York, some shit happens that I miss. Which I'm glad for. Alright. Yeah, this thunderstorm is fucking trash. I think it's gonna continue into the morning, too. To a metal theme of Psycho Killer. I don't think I know Psycho Killer. You are everything that's gone wrong in this world. Thanks for the sub, Six String Fury. Oh, everyone's having disconnect problems. Yeah, so I guess it's just uh, some shit on there, and then. Lipton T, I mean, I'm sure that as soon as that Area 51 game is ready to be played, he's just, pro I don't think he's, I don't know that he would do an early release, he would probably just put it out immediately, because, you know, obviously it's, uh, it's something that's a little time sensitive, he wants to get that game out before people stop caring about it. So I don't, I mean, I don't know what his plans for it are exactly. Definitely looking forward to giving that shit a try, though. Oh, oh! No. Oh, what? What happened there? Oh, 
Oh, I didn't see a pallet. Do I like Rainbow Six Siege? Um, I never played it, to be honest. And I, I think I played one Rainbow Six game ever, and I just I didn't like it. So. Got that nice Seinfeld baseline going. Oh, uh, oh. Uh. Oh, escape for you, Kappa. Yeah, the Max Headroom one was, uh... That one, the Brian Peppers one, and the Glass Geo one, I still haven't had, in a long time, videos blow up that big. Like, those are all million view videos that get, um, that got million views very quickly. Oh, there you are. Yeah, Two Girls, One Cup had a really big resurgence recently. Oh, I think I saw someone lurking back there. I did. Damn. Damn. These people are just kind of like offering themselves up to me. I definitely will do a Goatsy video eventually. Something someone had mentioned me too, like, it might be that the reason why I'll have a lot of questionable videos get monetized and pushed by the algorithm as maybe when YouTube reviews them they see it as kind of an educational thing which at this point is the only theory I've heard floated that kind of makes sense not that I'm, obviously not that I'm complaining it's just that it's strange Oh, that was pure dumb luck. <laughs> that guy must have been so fucking pissed off that I just like flew around and chainsawed him as he got taken down. What percentage of my videos get monetized? Um, most of them, to be honest. Wait, how did devil shit get timed out? What happened?
Oh, she thought you were like underage band. Oh, I see someone creeping back there. Stream some drunk rock band singing the other day on a YouTube stream. Got a copyright black for for singing walk. Yeah, copyright stuff on Twitch is uh. It's kind of uh, weird because oh, I thought I heard footsteps over here. Like it's, I, it seems like it's treated a little bit differently than on YouTube. Like I'll see people streaming regular ass songs or have it in the background the whole stream. And it's just like, what, what are you doing? But they don't care as much here, I guess. It's just like it affects your VODs. No. Oh, they keep on running at me. That's him. Chainsaw time. See, I are right, that now we got it going. There's the hatch. Oh, oh, come on. I, I did the grab thing. Oh, they dropped their shit. What's up with this whole group of survivors? They're acting very strangely. What's my favorite Slipknot track? Um... I don't know, man. I hate, uh... Well, I hate- I honestly, I just hate when people ask me my favorite anything. It's such a, like, a... It's a question that doesn't really tell you anything, it's just like name any shit. So I'll just say Eyeless. Like, I, <laughs> whenever someone asks me what my favorite anything is, I feel like I'm on a bad first date. Like, no, these people ain't trolling, they're just like... Trying to be slick in ways that aren't working out. Ugh. Oh. Thank <laughs> you. 
No. What up, Dr. Trouble? Oh, it's just that one person left, huh? I thought... I didn't realize that. Oh. If I, if I had the fucking Mori right now... If I had the fucking Mori right now... That would have been that. But I don't. Have I heard the full version of the most mysterious song? I haven't yet. Tinkerer. Oh my god. No more is here either. Alright, one's gonna get taken. Do I have a schedule for- I have no schedule for anything in my entire life. Let alone streams and videos. I just like to do things as they happen. Opening the objects. Yeah, I think that's the way to go. I'm gonna do it again. Yeah, I was holding off on doing the update video for the Mysterious Song because I thought, you know, there might be a, a little more progression on it. And also I have two other videos to finish editing first. So, I mean, that's good. It's gonna come. I'm hoping that before I get done doing what I'm doing, though, that there'll be, um, there'll be more to go off of. Does Jinx have any merch? Uh, we do have, uh, we do have merch. I don't think our store is set up right now. We just have it with us live. Um, I mean, we could set up an online merch store, but, like, it's, it's not something that I want to make my responsibility to because I have so much other shit going on, so it's kind of on the rest of the guys to do that. Who would win, Bagel Boss Guy or Douglas Levison? Definitely Bagel Boss Guy. Like, Doug Douglas Levison is like, that dude's, he's falling apart, realistically. Bagel Boss Guy, he's got like that, uh, he kind of walks around like a Diablo enemy. He can do some damage. Damn, I've actually been in the mood to play some Diablo 2 again, too. What up, King of Kings?
Baron von Brunk, we're in Queens, you are, because I'm technically in Queens. I'm almost in Brooklyn, but I'm in Queens. What up, room on the broom? Yo, I have these beast ass fucking bagels. In, uh, in my apartment, too, right now. They're so fucking good. I think that's what's going down after the stream. What up, Luke Sims? Flushing. Well, I'm trying to allow this, but I was kind of upset when I learned that the USB, the computer bag. Oh, I was having a hard time reading that. <laughs> what? Now the. Oh. Damn, okay. Oh, you're not... You're not gonna sit there and do the generator while I chase your friend around. Get that out of your head. That's, that's what they're trying? Oh god. Yeah, I'm just gonna kick this down while they, uh... I'm not gonna get caught into that little, uh, trap over there. Just in case. You said CWC meaning Christian, and I thought CVS in my head for some reason. Thanks for the donation, Luke Sims. I heard some lurking. Is this game worth buying? Yeah, I think so. I know you gotta worry about that indoor one too much because it's so isolated from the other ones. Oh! Now he's not—he's not as bad now that I'm kind of starting to like get him a little bit more. But also, these are like nice, a lot of like nice wide open pathways for him on this map. And yeah, the early Christian days were, I feel like, watching a lot of that shit unfold as was happening, it's such a different experience from kind of just like looking back on it, even with stuff unfolding to this day. Ah, oh, I could have made that little loop around. There, huh? Uh. 
Oh, After the Burial has a new album? I didn't listen to it. That band, like, they have, like, a few songs that I think are cool, but it's not something I would uh, sit around listening to all day. Like, I, just, I never got super into the gent shit. Okay, I see you. Damn it, man. I thought you was gonna, like, come... Wait. Oh, now that one, I thought I hit her. I'm not gonna, like, chase that one around while they're going and doing all the generators. What up, Ghost the Most? Listen to the Smiths. A little bit. It's not like my favorite thing to listen to, but I don't hate it. Oh my god, yeah, I'm getting fucking wrecked this game. That's gonna be the end of this one then. Oh, you fucking cock fuck. Do I like industrial? Not really. There's another one over here. Ugh, that cooldown is fucking trash. Fuck. Oh. Right, then there's one more. There they are. What up, dead god? Do I listen to the Melvins? No. Thanks for the sub, Chunky Trunks. Alright, can this, uh... Can this next web please, please, give a fucking Mori up? No! God damn it, man.
I got uh I got some coffee in the Kraken mug. And I got the uh, blue ball seltzer water in the bottle. Alright, let's do a hag. Or I could could do a leather face thing if I wanted to. Don't really want to though. I got I got more ease on the hag, which doesn't help me with the daily challenge. Am I a Harry Potter man or a Lord of the Rings fan? Not really big on either, but definitely Lord of the Rings more so. I never never watched Harry Potter or read any of the books once. And the it doesn't seem like something I want to. Favorite killer to play as? Michael Myers, probably. I've had some shit games with him recently, so maybe not. Yeah, Harry Potter is just, it's like Titanic, I just have zero interest in it. And it's on the same token, Lord of the Rings is not something I intend to ever watch again in my life, so. These servers are something tonight, aren't they? See, what I was enjoying was the hag... But not with her teleporters, with uh, the um, the items she gets, where the teleporters don't make you teleport, but they slow down the other, uh, they slow down the survivors and make you faster. Because she's very slow, but fast, she's good. The combination of that and the one that makes your uh, teleporter thing solid. Really? Is it, now we're going to have every fucking game like this? Have I made stickers? There are, um... I have, uh... Wait, what was I looking at here? Later Retro Gaming Dev. Uh, stickers. I do have, I think, one type of sticker on that Teespring store. Yeah, Dead Alive is definitely my favorite Peter Jackson movie. I never watched The Frighteners, which is his last of those, um, his last horror movie, basically. Michael J. Fox. Peter L. Jackson. Am I a martial arts movie fan at all? Somewhat. Uh, like I think things like... Um, Ricky O was in that world. The Street Fighter, that was a good one. Drunken Master's pretty cool. City of Violence, that Korean movie, that was a dope movie. I definitely prefer punching and kicking violence over shooting violence because I feel like it has more potential to get really, uh, like, I guess melee, in, in a movie, melee violence is more satisfying than projectile violence. Jet Li shit, I'm not so into. Uh, any of, like, anything that's, like, a martial arts movie with wires, why, I think wires action fucking sucks. Everything looks so weak and unimpactful. It's 
Tony Jaw movies are pretty cool. If Man was pretty good. Like, stuff like Crouching Tiger, that shit's fucking stupid, I think. The action scenes in The Matrix, fucking trash. <laughs> Off to a fast start here. Let's see if he loses us, though. No, I... I got you. That was a clear cut. Bloodsport. I like Bloodsport. It's a good movie. Oh, dude, yeah. Fucking Old Boy. The action sequences in Old Boy were... That, like, l one, like, long hallway scene? Fuck yeah. Am I just gonna run up on this dude again? I shouldn't be able to because I'm so fucking slow, but... I mean... Damn, he didn't get shook. What up, AV Thraptor? Oh, yeah. I knew that whole thing was, like, a little too simple. That they, uh... They just let me play with this dude while they did... The, um... The other generators. Oh, yeah, John Wick's action scenes are fucking dope. No, no, no. The shots of Keanu from New Bill and Ted. Kind of, kind of weird to look at. Like he's one of the only dudes that I've seen that. Uh, oh, he's sacrificed already. Shit. One of the only dudes I've seen that looks older, clean shaven, compared to uh, with you know with the whole beard situation. Like clean shaven, he looks his age. You know what, since I'm uh, playing a hag, kind of feeling the hag right now, I might continue my quest to unlock Ruin for all of the other, all the other guys. This Ruin is very helpful. Oh, so yeah, just let me just smack everyone around a little bit. Gotcha. There's one up here. Oh god, I walked around the wrong way, I think. It's alright. 
Yeah, I, d I got the notification for the, uh... The new stuff. That I restarted and shit. But I haven't played it in a week or so, so... Yes, sir, Turtle, this is Hot Pikachu Sex from Twitter. Let me get up here. At least, like, leave a trap around. Damn. I was looking at that all wrong. Oh! Am I going to this is hardcore? Probably not, but who is on it this year? Like, I like a lot of hardcore bands, but there's not a lot I like enough to actually go out and see at a festival and sit through, um... Like, I'm not a- in general, like, I'm not a big fest guy. Because, like, 99% of festivals I go to, it's like... There'll be, like, a tiny handful of bands I actually want to see, and they'll all be, like, spread out between bands I don't want to see. Like, I like Code Orange. Code Orange is pretty good. Damn. Yo, that's- that fucking screen fucking lag always happens at the most in, inopportune fucking times. And then you wind up in a situation like that where they could go in either left or right? You don't know. Did I start Tales from the Internet with the Pony Jar video? I think I did. I think that was the first one. Have I considered a video about Junko Junsui or r slash April 30th, 2015? I don't know. When I see a date in the name of something, it sounds like a corny ARG. And I've said a lot of times I hate ARGs, so I think they're stupid. But if it's not an ARG, maybe. Yeah, you know what? Instead of chasing this one around. Two is anywhere. Oh, there's only two of them left. <laughs> Have I seen Akira? Yeah. It's been a long time ago. Uh, over ten years, I think, since I watched Akira. Um, channels for people who like my channel, uh, Wavy Web Surf, Internet Historian, Emperor Lemon, um, Okay Eyes Weird Stories, oh, here we go, Mori time. Always obscured by lockers or some shit. Oh, a fake doomsday prophecy? Yeah, that sounds... I don't know, maybe that's something to look into. How is VidCon? Um, there were some work moments, but I, it was definitely largely a lot. Well, it's just kind of like a big party. You know what, let me... I probably should look at the shrine, see what there is. Go to the stow. Alright, so we gotta wake up. 
grab a brush and put a little makeup. Um, third seal, I think I have that one already. Bamboozle. Revolt speed's faster. Or a bold action calls upon the entity to block that vault? No shit. Huh. That's not a bad perk, but I don't think I want to spend my points on that. Yeah, like looking back at the footage from Rusty Cage's thing, I think he's putting out the full video tomorrow. I almost got the hot dog down as fast as Billy, it's just that I didn't swallow it fast enough. I got it like, I put it away, I just didn't like, didn't get it all the way down. And I, it killed my time. That, alright, that's what I want right there. There we go. Now let's, uh... Yeah, Billy just put that shit away. Like, I think his time was something like, like four seconds or something like that. I think he was a competitive eater at some point. And I'm not gonna add anybody on PS4 just cause like, I'm not really interested in playing survivor games with like people I don't know in real life and shit like that. And I kinda like hate organizing things with people, so like there's no reason for me to add people. <laughs> well, I did one stream once when I set up a lobby for like Smash Brothers and I was like, this is like the most annoying shit. <laughs> See, so, you know, the thing about competitive eating, people, uh, people think you gotta, like, gotta starve yourself to get ready. Oh, wait, I don't, ha I don't have a loadout here. Gotta starve yourself to get, but, like, then your stomach shrinks and you can't eat a lot. What you really gotta do is you gotta keep that stomach nice and expanded, but then have it not be full when the time comes. Well, I imagine if there was competitive pooping, there would be, uh, the different categories. Speed, size... Kind of like, uh, like a dog show where, <laughs> when they read the quality of it. Have I finished Bloodstained? I haven't. I have kind of other things I want to play before I get to Bloodstained. When I came across this game, Comebound, it was, uh, it's basically an Earthbound hack that has to do with Comtown. I don't know if it's any good or not, but it exists, so I have to stream that shit. Oh yeah, I gotta pick up, I was gonna pick up Mario Maker today, and get some other stuff that I had to, uh, to get. Like, I wanna start using my good camera for this, as opposed to the webcam. But, uh, if I'm gonna stream, pretty, I, like, I need my capture card to stream Switch games. So it would have to be one or the other, so I might as well also get the camera input. The camera capture card. Here to be the...
Would I use a whammy bar in a song? I mean, I used to fuck with a whammy bar, but the thing about a whammy bar, it's so like it's so big of an investment for so little return. Unless you're in a band that's so big that you have guitar techs and multiple alternate guitars. Oh, that fucking garbage can saved her life. Because it's mostly like, it's the Floyd Rose situation that makes having a whammy bar annoying. Like, I used to have a guitar with a Floyd Rose, and it's cool, but the amount of, like, extra work that goes into, like, having it do what it does is just not worth it. So why, so I can go wee wee a little bit? Thanks, Grizzled Nuts. Okay, I hear you. Damn. Waste. I do like uh, the Fender style whammy, where it's not like a whole crazy situation. I have that on one of my seven strings. I don't think, um, when I had it made, I don't think Fender ever made seven strings. I think they do now, but like only custom shop. See you people. You people. Oh, that guy's being very careful not to waste the pallets. To get my voice in that Area 51 game. Uh, yeah, I send some stuff to Keemstar. I don't know what he's gonna wind up using and not using. Cool. I imagine he'll have it done quickly, so that'd be something I would stream. If it, uh... It comes out soon, too. I don't know what the thought behind that was, but I'm glad I got somebody down. Yeah, this has been a real fucking garbage round right here. Alright, so what? We got this one. They're working on that one. Oh, no, you're... Oh, what? Really, motherfucker? <laughs> Alright, whatever. Do I like blast beats? Yeah? That's like... That's such a high school musician question to ask. Do you like blast beats? That reminds me of this kid that I knew who played guitar, and he used to like, 
He was just like, all he would do is like learn scales and shit. And it would be like, so how is this guitar coming? I learned like, this is that scale, and it's like, alright. Cool. Oh my fucking oh cunt fucking shit Yeah, I'm just gonna like I'm gonna leave that dude to let for like whoever's playing the chunky dude, just leave him for last cause like he seemed like the best at dodging shit. Thanks, uh for all Don't worry too much about a spoofy man. I just like that's like one of the things I hate like like fucking uh wait, did you really just do that? Oh damn, yeah, that's Damn. That dude's probably fucking tight, because, like, all his teammates just, like, collapse this dude's house of cards. Hell yeah, thank you for all those bits, Mark King. Oh. No! Thanks, Mark King. Oh. You're starting metal band and you're trying to figure out what to do. I'm assuming you're a drummer then, if you're asking if I like blast beats. Um. Here's the thing, like, I think part of the reason why I'm like, that's kind of like a high school musician question to ask. I feel like... There's this thing that happens when you're not that experienced with making music where you try to like build a song around techniques and things like that and that's not really conducive to good songwriting. Maybe the next one, if I at least don't get a Mori, I can get... Uh, that ruin on him. What inspired me to make the content that I make? Um... I don't know, or like early on the channel I tried a lot of different kinds of shit. And at a certain point, uh, I kind of uh, was just trying to think up things. And I did the Calm Jar video because I was like, oh, that's an interesting thing to talk about. And then I was like, oh, well, I know lots of stories like this. So it kind of became a thing. And early on, nobody was really watching those videos. But then it was the Taylor Swift one, I think, was the first one to really do well. And then people kind of went back um, all the way through the archives to look at all the Tales from the Internet videos.
fucking extra cheese pizza face over here. No, that video didn't do good at all when it first came out. Oh my god, really game. What? Um, what I noticed though, even before the Tales of Midnight series started to do well, is that those videos would, even though they weren't getting big views, they were getting more consistent views over time than series that were more based on like what a trending topic was and shit like that. Is there a specific story I've not covered that I'm excited to... Uh, I think... Oh my god, what's going on with this? One thing I would like to do is... Uh, well, I mean, I have a whole file here of different stories to do. I have... I actually have one about the Golden Girls that I've put off for a long time. That one's very different from the other stuff I do because it's more... It's almost more conducive to doing it in like a video essay type style. YTMND. Um, yeah, pretty much... Max is trying to rebuild the, everything about YTMND. He's trying to modernize the player and archive the whole thing. I don't think he's going to make it so you can make any more, but he's at least trying to back the side up. What up, Shevsky? Oh, yeah. Alright, let's, let's... Oh my god, what's happening here? I am playing on PS4. Because the PC version, you know, I have the PC version, but I also have an ultra-wide monitor. So for me, for me to uh, play the PC version of this game, I would need to play with black bars and my, like, have, like, a good chunk of my screen not used. Because the, for some I, I, I gotta make it so that people can't send me friend requests. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know, I, apparently I'm hearing there used to be a way in the PC version of this game to have it so that, um, you can play an ultra widescreen monitor and you're not stuck in the ultra widescreen resolution because what it does is it cop it cuts off the top and Oh, is this just it? Is it fucked? Man, real good dedicated servers here. Don Var, I tried everything you can do to, uh, to get the widescreen resolution. You could, because, like, when you go into the options of the game, you can't choose a resolution. You can only choose percentages. There we go. So pretty much the only way to play at a normal resolution is to change your entire monitor's resolution. What now?
Blarg. I think, like someone had said before, they're switching to dedicated servers, which might be why this is happening. Yeah, if the dedicated servers aren't here, then I don't know what's happening. This has never happened before. Yeah, down something's just wrong with the game, I guess. I didn't know Down Detector did games, I guess, but I guess that makes sense. Ever lived the Psycho Billy music? A little bit. It's kind of weird to me that Psycho Billy is a genre and not just a thing that one or two bands did. Because it, it, I feel like more that more so than other subgenres, it's blatantly just like, oh, I like that shit. I'm copying you. Oh, I feel like this isn't a good stage for him. Because it's not really like a everything is like very straight lines. You don't really have a lot of room to arc out. Chase you. Oh, that was fast. If you were fucking British, shine your shoes, gov. <laughs> a little disappointed that none of the Brits I met at Vacon have like a crazy Cockney accent. All talking high class and shit. I want some fucking. I gotta meet some like shine your shoes, governor Brits. With fucking fingerless gloves and stovepipe hats with the top flipping off. Oh, what? Okay, come on. Fucking Fortnite over here. What are you, a Fortnite ass character? Gonna jump down, huh? Oh, satisfying. Let's see you do some flossing now. Hey, governor. I totally just like walk past the hook, I think. It's alright, it's the one here. I think I heard footsteps here. Oh, they're close to doing this one, huh? Can't allow that. Now I assume you're gonna walk to get your friend down. Which I would not recommend. That one. Oh no, not even. That was just a generator issue. All right, now she's down. Are there any podcasts I want to go down? 
I don't know. I feel like all the com all the podcasts I listen to a lot now are like comedy podcasts that I would ruin by being on them. Like at this point, my most listened to podcast is probably Comptown, which I would definitely not be good on. Um. I'm doing Drunken Peasants, uh, the 25th. That one's always fun. I keep on thinking birds are people. Uh, I, honestly, like, what I used to do... I used to go on every single podcast anyone would ever invite me on. And I'm so glad I don't do that anymore because it becomes such a big time sink. And a lot of you wind up repeating yourself a lot on different shows. Like, I don't think I would ever do an interview oriented podcast ever again. All the best ones I did were the ones where you just kind of like, you just go on and talk shit. Like, Drunken Peasants is like that. I did one with Wavy and Willy Mac a while back. Um, the one I did with uh, FPS Diesel and Kawhi and Wild Spartans, that one went really well, I think. Hell yeah, glad you watched that Calcutta SF. I feel like one of these sneaky fuck. this one's so close to being done, that like one of these sneak, sneak, sneak bags is just gonna come out. Oh. Yeah, there's only one left, and that one is super close to being done. And then there's also this one here. Yeah, they got that. Not working on that one yet, huh? Gonna walk to the other side. This was a uh, trash. Uh. Ah! Alright, so other guy, you find the hatch or are you waiting over there? Nah, he just went out. Damn, I'm starting to get a little bit of a headache. I don't know what's going on here. I think I'll make the next one the last game, because my head is getting kind of like... 
Blaze Pizza. I had a Blaze Pizza the other day. It's interesting. It's kind of like Subway, but for pizza. Oh my god, there's still no Moris. Yeah, if I, this is going to be my last one. I don't want to do it with Hillbilly either. Let's see. Hag on my career. Let's do Michael. Michael boy is... I thought it was good when I had it. I had uh, which one? I had the one that was like jalapenos. It was like spi a bunch of spicy stuff on it. Yeah, he does have really big hands. What's up with that? The Olive Earl. Clown, he has, um, he has this, this fucking fart gas thing that he throws at people. It makes him go all dumb. That's pretty uh interesting question. I don't know if Shatner gets royalties because it is a Shatner mask, and it's not like this is a secret. It's a known fact. I doubt he does though, because I guess the modification to the mask it probably would be considered fair use. Because unless you knew, you would never in a million years know it was a William Shatner mask unless people just knew that trivia. It's uh, it's very obviously like there's no uh, situation where they're trying to convince people uh, William Shatner's in Halloween. You know who Bagel Boss Guy reminds me of in some ways? Uh, do you remember that kid, Sim Fuckus? I used to have him on MySpace. He was this juggalo with some kind of... Uh, I think he's still... I think he's still alive, too. I think he's still doing stuff. Um, he was this juggalo kid with... I, I think he had progeria. Yeah, like, his mannerisms. There's a lot about, uh, Bagel Boss Guy that reminds me of Simfuckus. Ah, they saw me. I can't do my creeping, because you saw me. Night Owl. At some point, I'd considered a Simfuckus video, but I, I don't know what I would say about him, really. It's one of those situations where there's not a lot to it. It's just like, hey, look at this guy. Ain't he crazy? <laughs> not much of a video there. Thanks, Nakadashi Bo. I was about to go try and uh, hillbilly chainsaw across the map with Michael Myers, but 
Obviously, that's not happening. There's definitely some King Cobra JFS story arcs that could be uh, talked about. I think the Sex Doll one would be a good one. Which was how I first became aware of him. Oh my god, what a trash round of this game right now. Okay, let me just charge this shit up for now. Oh, it took so long to charge that up that it didn't fucking. Yo, why did what happened that it was like? I guess because I'm so close that it's not charging. Shit, you gotta be lurking more. All right, now. Give this a good kick. Oh, let me go get that then. Damn. Wasted it. Also didn't really have good uh, power for him right there. Didn't come back to it. What am I starting the Angel Fire Twitch streams? Um, probably do one next week. It'll be good to have a good back catalog of those because I can honestly I can make the video ones a lot more quickly. You know, you just do the stream, and I hired an editor to turn those into YouTube videos. So it's basically like some extra content I can have out, and then while I have like some videos coming out, then I have more time I can put into a Tales from the Internet video. Do I browse Encyclopedia Dramatica? Um, I look at it sometimes, like, it's not something where I, you know, I don't casually open up and like, hmm, what will I find today? I don't do that. But sometimes it comes up if I'm looking for something specific. Um, I usually don't hire editors. For the Angel Fire Adventure series, I do, though. Yeah, they've Encyclopedia Dramatic have changed servers a million times, but they're still around. And if I know that if they were to go down completely, everything is archived. So the whole thing, um, as I understand it, should they go down, they'll make the entire site downloadable, so it won't it'll never be gone permanently. This one at all? No. All right. All right. So they need one more. Oh, 
Oh, she died. She died. There apparently there are some uh, GeoCities archives too. I don't know how complete they are, but there are some attempts at that. Night Gresker Kit. Should do a Lol Cal series, no one's done that yet. I mean, in some ways, that's kind of like what the bulk of Medicare's channel is. He just doesn't like officially call it that. Dankweb's channel is kind of like that, too. Although he has like a lot of fit focus on like fitness people. Oh, yeah, they're getting close on this one. Repsion, too, he has some videos like that. Repsion, I know, has, like, a lot of variety on his channel. And he's been, like, embattled with, like, Onision shit. Onision keeps on trying to get his, uh, videos taken down. They ain't coming for her, huh? Ah, you scum. There we go. Yeah, Onision is a weird one for me because I find Jim just to be in general, like, too boring to really follow anything to do with him. Like, he's like, Onision is just like a dude that I just have zero interest in. But he gets caught up in all this shit. Oh, no shit. I thought they would be working on that one. But I guess they're doing over there. What am I doing? I'm gonna come here, so they're gonna come for the other one. Oh no, I see you. What are they doing? There you are. Oh, really? Can't, like, a ninja slice with him? What's happening here? Staying, like, too close here. There we go. Fuck, that was dumb. I almost did something about the dimensional merge, because I had, like, I saw some of his tweets about it, and I was kind of like, oh, well, I could do something that's kind of like, who said this? Chris Chan or the Ultimate Warrior? I compare quotes, but I feel like there just wasn't enough to that to really, to really run with it and make it good. Alright, 
right, there's one. And they're out. Alright, guys. Thank you for hanging out with me on this stream tonight.